Hi guys and welcome, my name is Jude and this is my birthday book haul. Quite a long time and no see, I already made a video explaining what happened in general aspects as to why the videos have been missing and everything and you can check it out right here if you want to know a little bit more and I also address the hair which is shorter. But in this particular video I will be talking about my birthday book haul. My birthday was a couple of weeks ago, like, no actually well, almost a month ago, but I didn't have a time until now to film and I am here and I am so excited to show you guys the books that I got so let's get right to it. The first things I got came around a week before my birthday and they were sent by Jennifer from Some Like It Paranormal who's my best vloggy friend ever. And she sent a nice lovely letter that said happy birthday Jude and I, I, it says I just went to a signing and got you three signed goodies had an extra ARC of Illuminate from ALA hope you enjoy them thank you so much Jennifer I already like Instagrammed this it was so great and these are the books that I got so first as mentioned in the letter I got Illuminate Illuminate? I said Illuminate right? It's Illuminate Illuminate uh, the Illuminate Files 01 it is an ARC and I had never seen an ARC that was like so like well done to begin with like look at this holy crap it's Amazing! It has like little gaps in the in the book book flap, and they, they just fit perfectly. And it's so great. Look at this. It says classified, and there's things that are circled and just disappeared completely. And then on the inside, there's so much more. And the, the inside design, it's just so great there's like blood on this page you, you can tell there's blood here I can't wait to jump into this thank you so much Jennifer for getting me this I'm just stoked to read that one and next up she got me a more a more by Krista and Vicarici Ricci, I hope I say that right it's about a circle about a circus performer I think that wants to enter into like Cirque du Soleil Maybe. I don't think it's Cirque du Soleil, but <laughs> it's about a circus performer that um, wants to enter into this big company and then she meets another circus performer and it's like love in the circus, in a circus setting and oh my god that sounds great. And it's signed. Next up I got Love in English by Karina Hale. I haven't read anything by her before I think. This book is about a woman that goes to Spain to teach English and then she meets a guy and it's basically a romance so it's called Love in English. Um, but I'm really excited, it was all to signed, of course. And last I got The Return by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I haven't read anything by her yet but I've heard that she's an amazing author and it says Jude Cuddle with Seth. Seth is the guy apparently here and as far as I understand this is part of another series, it's, it's like a titan novel. I don't know what the rest of the series is, but I will find it and read it because yes, yes. So thank you so much Jennifer. Those were all the books that she got me. Uh, oh, wow, thank you so much. for You went, you went too, it was too much, but thank you. I thank you so much. And those were all the gifted books that I got, uh, but I went on to Barnes & Noble on my birthday to buy a couple of books for myself. And the books that I got were Dirty Pretty Things by Michael Faudet. Uh, um, it's a collection of poems poetry. I have seen Michael Faudet, I'm butchering his name I'm sure, but I have I have seen his Tumblr blog and I love the things that she, he posts. I absolutely adore his poems. He writes very deep thoughtful things and also very erotic things. He correct, he's, what? He has a very distinct way of writing erotic little short poems and they are great. I will link to his Tumblr down below and his Facebook page. I'm so excited to finally get this book. Next up I got Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. I have one book by her and that's Be Time Between Us which is about time travel. I haven't read it yet but it has great reviews. Um, I didn't know it was from her when I bought it. I, I read the name and I was like, that sounds familiar. And when I got home I was like, oh she's the author of that one. But the reason why I got it was because I read the part uh, in the back and I'm gonna read it to you. It says, Still, I can hear this one thought. Hiding in the dark corners of my mind, it doesn't attack like the others, but it's frightening in a totally different way because it's the one that never leaves and it's the one that scares me most. What if I'm crazy? 
when I read the back line of this, uh, the little quote snippet, whatever, I was like, oh, I feel so identified. I'm, I'm buying it. I don't care. I don't care what the story is about, but I can identify with that, so I'm buying it. The next book that I bought was The Opposite of Loneliness, Essays and Stories by Marina Keegan. Uh, Marina Keegan is a girl that was very brilliant in the sense that she was really smart. She had, I think she was intern, she had an internship with the New York Times and um, she was a really promising student. She had a great life ahead of her, but she died in an accident, I think, on the day of her graduation. I'm so sorry if I'm getting it wrong. I don't want to make mistakes here, so I'm just going to read about the author. It says, Marina Keegan, 1989-2012. She died on 2012. Uh, it says, was an award-winning author, journalist, playwright, poet, actress, and activist. Her nonfiction has been published in the New York Times. Her fiction has been published on the NewYorker.com and read on NPR selected shorts. Her musical independence was on New York Times critics' picks. Marina's final essay for the Yale Daily News, The Opposite of Loneliness, became an instant global sensation viewed by more than 1.4 million people from 198 countries. So, um, she was a brilliant girl, and sadly she passed away a lot, a diamond in the rough that went away too soon, but they, they gathered all of her essays and short stories and published this book, and I read that it's great for young adults to sort of not feel too lonely. Oh my god, the sun, the sun. And I'm in my 20-somethings, and I feel like I should be doing more with my life, and sometimes I get really lonely. <laughs> So, um, I've heard that it was a great book for sort of young adults, and I've started reading it, and I feel really identified also. And, um, yes, oh my god, look at look at my bookmark. It says, the force is strong with this one. I love it. I love it. I am so intrigued with this book. So far, it's been really interesting and great, and I love the, the, like how refreshing her voice is. So, it's great. I recommend it. Even though I've only read like 50 pages, but it's good so far and I'm excited to finish this. And to the last thing that I bought myself that is not really bookishly related, but I'm really excited about it nonetheless, it's Sadness from Inside Out. I freaking adored that movie. I cried so bad, so bad when I watched it. So that's it. Those are all the things that I got for my birthday. And yes, thank you so much to everyone that sent me like good wishes for my birthday. I I, I thank you. I, I love my I love having birthdays. And yes, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I have a birthday giveaway going on. You can check out that video right here if you would like to enter. And Yes, let me know if you guys have read any of the books that I mentioned, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, why didn't you like them, why you like them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Because there will be a next video because I'm back! Bye! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to me! Yay! Thumbnail.